Right now on Thornton 360, a new concept for professional development in South Thornton. And the investigation into the home explosion reaches a conclusion. Thornton 360 starts right now. Hello and welcome to Thornton 360. I'm Lisa Wilson. And I'm Todd Barnes. Thanks for joining us. We begin this edition of Thornton 360 with a look back at the events from the August 26th City Council meeting. The meeting's agenda featured decisions on some rezoning proposals for the Aspen Reserve development at 120th and Quebec. September 6th was also designated as Thornton's Playful City Play Day. The date coincides with this year's Harvest Fest. To see the entire City Council meeting, tune to Xfinity Channel 8 or visit cityofthornton.tv. The City of Thornton is working to create a health care district along I-25 between 88th Avenue and Thornton Parkway. A health care district is something we hope to create in partnership with, uh, with North Suburban Medical Center, their parent company Health One, and the other health care providers along Grant Street, north of 88th, south of Thornton Parkway. The other night at Council we presented the, the final recommendations of a study that's been ongoing since last July. Uh, council asked us to take a look at South Thornton, the whole of South Thornton, and then pick one or two sites that could be developed uh, in the near term, one, two, or three years. Uh, we made recommendations for those two sites, and as we were thinking about it, we realized that we had an opportunity to use those two sites to catalyze a bigger project, which is this healthcare district idea. At the top of Grand, right at Thornton Parkway, is a lot of vacant land west of the shopping center. The Thornton Development Authority actually owns that property. Uh, right now, uh, it says Prairie Dogs, um, and we're hoping to redevelop that with perhaps a, a long-term care facility. On the other side, near Brittany Hill, uh, we could attract perhaps some new apartments. As you go farther south, towards 88th, the, uh, the other vacant properties could be filled in with medical office buildings or other kinds of clinics. The reason why a healthcare district would be good for a Thornton resident, many of them, uh, strictly for healthcare, in terms of healthcare, there'll be more and better uh, services for them. That would create a kind of a new economic engine for this part of town. Most of the retail is, is drifting up north, and if we have um, a kind of an independent healthcare hub, uh, then that could jumpstart other things. More business, more retail, more apartments, uh, better tax base for this part of the town. The area is part of the South Thornton Urban Renewal Plan area, which utilizes tax increment financing to support development. Thornton Police and Fire have concluded their investigation into the house explosion on Monroe Drive. It happened in June, and evidence shows the co-owner of the home engaged in an intentional act to commit suicide by detaching the natural gas line to the furnace. This caused the home to fill with natural gas, which resulted in the eventual ignition and subsequent explosion of the home. The case has been ruled a suicide. The Labor Day holiday and the subsequent end of summer celebrations mean increased DUI patrols. When people drink beer or if they use marijuana, you have to take into consideration, hey, when does this event end and how am I going to get home after that? So if I'm going to use alcohol or use marijuana during a, a, a barbecue, how am I going to get home safely after that? The best idea is um, pre-plan it. You know, if you want to go and have some drinks, that's fantastic, but make sure that you have a ride home. So designate a driver or say, hey, you know what, can you drop me off at this party and come back and pick me up at XYZ or arrange for a taxi? An important thing to remember is, is that after midnight, between about midnight and four, that's when most of the drivers on the road are going to be impaired in some way. And that's when we put our police officers out there looking for those impaired drivers. We want to get them off the road. We want to make contact with those impaired drivers before they cause that accident. An update now on planning and concept designs for Thornton's fast track stations. The stations will be along the North Metro line with an 88th Avenue station and a 104th Avenue station. This will be pretty impressive for everybody from a transportation perspective, but also from a development perspective. Fast Tracks is moving along a lot faster than we first expected. We're looking at a potential completion date, which means people will be able to ride the train from Thornton to Denver by about 2018. 88th and Welby will be our first gateway station from the south into Thornton. Where we're standing today 
is 104th in Colorado. That's the second station and it will be a little bit bigger from a development perspective. So more housing units and some mixed use development. The terminating station is at East Lake at 124th and Claude Court. Construction is expected to start in the first quarter of 2015. So things are gonna get rolling pretty quickly. We expect to have a plaza right back between Albertsons and the inline strip that's behind me today that may support some restaurants and maybe a sports bar. So it could bring some fun new lifestyle right here to 104th in Colorado. From a transportation perspective, if you can imagine your car ride from say 104th to downtown is a half an hour today or 20 minutes today, the train ride will probably cut that time in half. And you'll be able to do that without a car, enjoying your laptop or your book on your way to downtown, either for a Rockies game or for work. But it should be a pretty neat addition to the transportation options here in Thornton. The next public meetings regarding the North Metro rail line are Thursday, September 4th at 5.30 at the Carpenter Rec Center and Wednesday, September 24th at 5.30 at Anythink Library, Wright Farms. Here's a quick reminder that South Thornton residents have access to the RTD call and ride. Residents can call 303-434-3472 to have an RTD vehicle come to your home and pick you up to take you somewhere. Again, that number is 303-434-3472. Thornton residents are invited to an open house on September 11th to help determine how best to spend federal housing and community development block grant funds. There are federal funds that we get from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, also known as HUD. The funds can be used for projects that um, improve community facilities, public infrastructure, housing developments, um, either single family or multifamily, and public services or service-based projects. And the funds have to benefit people who are low to moderate income. So every five years, what we have to do is reevaluate the needs in the community. And one of the ways that we do that is we talk to service providers, we talk to residents in the area, and we look at um, the changes in demographics in the city to see if there's new needs or needs that have not been identified or dealt with with past CDBG funds. Where we're gonna do an open house about what CDBG funds are, where they've been used in the past, and what areas that residents think that we need to use the funds in the future. We've got a link on our CDBG webpage to our consolidated plan webpage that's going to provide updates on meetings, on the status of the consolidated plan. It also provides a link for an email address and phone number. So if residents can't attend a meeting, they're always more than welcome to email or call us and provide input that way as well. The open house is Thursday, September 11th, 6 to 8 p.m. in the Thornton City Hall Training Room, 9500 Civic Center Drive. The Thornton Police Department is currently recruiting top candidates to join their team. There's a lot of things you can do with your career in the city of Thornton. It's an exciting time to be on. We're building, we're moving towards the future, and with our goals of being the standard of excellence in law enforcement, and we live by our core values. That's leadership, accountability, teamwork, safety, and tradition. We'll be posting four applications online September 29th in which case we'll be adding several positions for qualified applicants. Got to definitely be a people person, ready to communicate, ready to work, um, get out there, get to meet the community, uh, be a team player, work amongst a shift and a different type of brotherhood. We're looking for individuals that are qualified that can do that job, that enjoy a sense of community, want to get out and help people and do the right thing for individuals out in the, in the public. And then also uh, enjoy a different working environment, like to stay active, like to be on their feet and, and do different things to, uh, during the course of their day. Looking for motivated people, looking for people excited to start a new career and uh, join the team. It truly is an adventure. You get to see all aspects of uh, police work and life in general. You just get exposed to so many different things. Um, it really is, in my opinion, a, the ticket to the greatest show on earth. You get to see a lot of different things. For more information about recruiting in the city of Thornton as a police officer, check our website, www.cityofthornton.net forward slash PD recruitment. Also, follow us on Twitter at, at Thornton Police. We'll have constant updates on our hiring as well as information that might be helpful going forward. The Thornton Senior Center recently celebrated 30 years of service. The anniversary celebration comes after the completion of a renovation project at the center.
This was a goal of the Senior Citizen Advisory Board. Um, through their master plan, they had a goal to update the facility in time for the 30th anniversary of the Senior Center. What we did was we improved the entrances and the access through the building. We completely remodeled the interior with new paint, flooring, new ceiling tiles, new lighting. We did the library, the dining room, the front office, underwent a, a huge remodel and we put in all new um, furnishings. The seniors have really responded so positively. There's just a new energy in the facility. They love the colors, the openness, the light. The front office is such a nice improvement and then of course the, the access through the building. I think this upgrade is, is a long time coming, so it's really been met with a very positive reaction from the folks that use the facility on a regular basis. Today, the Thornton Senior Center serves about 150 to 250 seniors each day. Save the date. As we mentioned earlier, Harvest Fest is Saturday, September 6th. Come to Thornton Harvest Fest on Saturday, September 6th. Presented by Larkridge and Larkridge South, Thornton's largest retail center at I-25 and Highway 7 off exit 229. In the morning, grab a fishing pole and head to Grandview Ponds for a children's fishing derby. Or grab a fork and go to the pancake breakfast at the Senior Center. Come to Community Park for free activities like salsa tasting Kid Zone and live entertainment. Watch the skate park competition and visit dozens of local vendors. There's something for everyone at Thornton Harvest Fest on September 6th. City Pool recently went to the dogs. Oh. The, <laughs> the annual Pause for a Dip event was held August 23rd. City Pools closed for the season on August 17th, but City Pool opened for this event, allowing dogs to get in some end of summer fun. Sorry for the bark. <laughs> That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. I'm Todd Barnes. And I'm Lisa Wilson. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.